Hey YouTube, Christian Pepper Gal here. And today I'm going to be breaking down a box of instant mashed potatoes and putting them in proportionate sizes of four servings each into Mylar bags. So why don't you come along with me? Here I have a box of instant mashed potatoes. They're plain, they have no added butter or milk or salt. They're just plain old potatoes in here. And what I'm going to do is break it down and put um, four servings in individual Mylar bags. Those are family size servings for us. There's four people here that um, put together our emergency meals and uh, long-term food storage for. So I want to have some family size meals and foods as well as the individual servings that I do. So first thing we're gonna do is open up this box. I should have had that done already. I apologize for that. Okay, that was not that easy to do on camera. So I, I had to I had to stop filming it for a moment so I could get that thing open. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my Mylar bag, open it up and have it ready to put the potatoes in. This is a one quart size Mylar bag, and I do use the ones that have the bottom that folds out so that it will stand up well to in order to put the ingredients in it. Now I'm going to put a funnel, my canning funnel, in the bag to make it easier to pour things in. Hold on just a moment and let me adjust that camera so you can better see what I'm doing here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna put in is one cup, excuse me, two cups of the instant mashed potatoes. And I will have a link down below where you can print out the recipe so you don't have to worry about trying to remember everything and every step. Okay, so we put in two cups of instant mashed potatoes. And as I said before, this is for four servings, for family size of four servings. And the next thing we're going to add is some powdered milk. This is Nido, N-I-D-O, whole powdered milk that I use. Now, I'll put a picture of it up so you can see what it looks like. We're going to put in one third a cup of the Nido or of powdered milk. I'm not sure how well non-fat dry powdered milk would work because I don't use that in my meals in a bag. Or, in this case, it's not really a meal in a bag. <laughs> but I don't use it in my long-term food storage. And the next thing I'm going to add is three tablespoons of powdered butter. And this is Augustin Farms powdered butter. You get it in the big number 10 cans and then once I open it, I bring it down into the smaller canning jars and use the vacuum sealer, which are attachments, to take out the air that's inside. So that was three tablespoons of powdered butter. And then at this point, if you wanted to add some cheese to it, um, you can use powdered cheese. This again is Augustin Farms cheese powder blend. I'm not going to add any into it, but it is optional. You could add two tablespoons of the cheese into it if you want cheesy mashed potatoes. Not everyone in my family eats those, so I won't be adding that to them today. 
All right, the next thing we need is salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just re using regular, regular table salt today in these bags. Mostly because that blends up easiest in the instant mashed potatoes. I do prefer using the sea salt in my foods when I cook them, but it doesn't always dissolve really good in something like instant mashed potatoes. Okay, that's it for the ingredients in the bag anyway. I have already taken the time, you may have noticed before I forgot to mention it, to write the instructions out on the bag. So we're going to seal this up. We're going to um, actually put a oxygen absorber in here and then seal it up. And then I'll be back um, to show you how to do that in just a moment. And I am back. And something I forgot to mention is that if you don't want to use Mylar bags for putting together your family size servings of instant mashed potatoes and everything's ready to go and all you got to do is put it in water and cook it, you can also use canning jars to do so. All you would do need to do with them is use the um, food saver jar attachment to pull the air out or as we're going to do with the Mylar bags, use an oxygen absorber in it and it will keep and save in the canning jar just as well as with micro or Mylar bag. Okay, now we're going to take and put in the oxygen absorber. And these are my oxygen absorbers. I take them out of the packet and immediately put them into a canning jar and close the lid to protect them from activating. Otherwise, if they're left out for longer than 10 or 15 minutes, they will activate and will not be usable again. And I'm going to go ahead and put one right inside there. Close this up quickly. Then I'm going to squeeze out as much air as I can here and then close the lid. Squeeze out even more air. Ziploc the lid, I should say. If you don't have the Ziploc bags, you can skip this part and go right to the next part. And you still want to squeeze out as much as you can. You just wouldn't be ziplocking it closed. And then we want to take our hair straightening iron and just along the edge of the bag, up at the top, clamp it down and this will heat seal it. You just need to hold it there for a few seconds. Then I'm going to turn around, clamp down on the other side. Just a few seconds, and I kind of go towards the middle just to make sure that the end, they met, <laughs> so that it's sealed all the way across. And that's it. Now we'll set these in the cupboard in a cool, dark place. I actually put them in totes, plastic totes. And that'll be good for anywhere from five years plus um, sitting in your cupboard. If you didn't add the powdered milk and the powdered butter to them, then they would last indefinitely. But I like to have them all together so everything's put together and ready to go in an emergency situation. I'm not going to do a video of how to cook them. I'll just tell you real quick because it's so easy. All you have to do is boil two and three fourths cups of water and you can either pour the potatoes into the boiling water once. Okay, let me backtrack again. Once the water is boiling, remove it from the heat. Then you can either pour the potatoes from the bag into the boiling water or if, if you prefer, <laughs> you can pour the boiling water into the bag and stir it all up. But that's all you do is add it to the boiling water and stir. And there you've got your instant mashed potatoes. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you like it, please click on the like button down below. And if you like my channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below as well. 
and the little bell next to it will let you know when I upload a video. So, so again, thank you, and until next time, happy prepping, and God bless.